Greetings, Captains. The Titan Defense Systems Basilisk is a dangerous, unconventional stealth support ship. Designed to ghost in behind enemy lines before wreaking havoc with its wide range of abilities, the Basilisk can control an entire area, leaving the way open for allies to annihilate defenders with ease. Stealth is one of the ship's key abilities, with the cloak allowing it to move around a sector undetected by normal surveillance. The Basilisk is able to deploy a stealth mine in the form of a gravity well. These wells lie in wait for enemies to enter their detection radius, then activate. The wells forcefully draw enemies into their epicenter, attacking their flight model. These can be devastating when placed efficiently, but with a considerable cooldown are always a strategic choice. The ship also has a Graviton Anchor. This is a four-shot magazine-based ability, which slows the target considerably with each shot. This can either slow down or stop opponents, holding them in place for attack craft to finish them off. The Basilisk's primary weapon is the Plasma Cannon, designed to bypass armor and hit the target where it hurts. Plasma continues to burn after the initial impact, delivering a real sting in the tail. The ship is also equipped with a Pulsar Charge, which projects a gravitational anomaly into space. All enemies within this area are damaged, but this is intensified if any have been tagged with Graviton Anchors. This effect is multiplied with more anchors and can be devastating. The Basilisk's armory is built around denying the enemy mobility while dealing respectable damage to back up a combat force. The ship can lay traps capable of disrupting a formation and is a true difference maker in a large scale battle. A fast and dangerous presence, the Basilisk is able to control the flow of the battlefield by affecting opponents' mobility. Packing something of a punch in its own right, the Basilisk is nevertheless a second line ship, designed to support more powerful allies in a battle with multiple ships involved. The Plasma Cannon is a damage over time weapon that ignores target armor. Broken armor doesn't increase damage, keep firing mercilessly. Each stack of the Graviton Anchor reduces the flight model of your targets, as well as suppressing the target's ability to blink or boost. This is best used to aid allies in destroying high-value mobile targets. The Pulsar Charge is a detonation and area of effect weapon, which sees its damage amplified by the application of Graviton Anchors on the enemy. Placing the anchors is key to getting the most out of this weapon. The Gravity Well's activation radius is invisible to the enemy until triggered. Once active, it pulls enemies towards a singularity. This is ideal as an escape tool or to trap, ambush, and disorient enemies. The Basilisk's armor is strongest on the top and bottom. Use this to your advantage when using vertical planes. The Basilisk is an indirect but very dangerous presence in space, bringing its gravity-based attacks to a team fight while under stealth mode to cause maximum carnage. It's not a straightforward ship to learn, but will promise great rewards for the patient player. It's not a tough ship, so staying safe and cloaked away from the thick of the battle is paramount. Where the Basilisk excels is in anticipating a larger conflict. Arriving first at an objective, such as a forward station or ahead of a gamma battle, the ship was able to lay its traps and cloak itself in a safe place, waiting for the perfect time to unleash its full power, just as the rest of the fleet arrive. Where the Basilisk is unusual for support craft is that it lacks any abilities which directly affect its teammates. As such, it's not an ideal escort ship for a heavy, so it won't really work to its best ability when partnering, say, a US or Colossus. It's much more suited to following more agile, aggressive ships. So as an example, a Basilisk paired with a TDS Sentinel and Reaper would make for a particularly potent combination. As with any stealth ship, Zarek Hunters and USR Pioneers will pose a real problem for the Basilisk. A vigilant commander with a detection ability will be able to sniff out a cloaked Basilisk with few problems. That's it for me, Captains. Good hunting.